Hi, it's me, Kathy Brackett, Jamboree Nails Independent Consultant, and this time I'd like to show you how easy it is to apply your Jamboree nails. Um, I've already done my manicure except for my thumb, which is the one I'm going to demonstrate for you on, and I've, uh, in the last video I showed how to take, take it off. This time I'm going to show you how to put it on, and to do that I'm, you need a heat source. I'm using the mini heater. You need um, a cuticle pusher or orange stick would work, a nail file, buffer, scissors, and alcohol or an alcohol prep pad. Um, and then of course you need your nails. This is what's left after my manicure of, um, except for the thumbnail. Now this style again is the February Hostess exclusive that you can earn by hostessing a party in February. And to begin with, I want to prep my nails and make sure that they are ready to go. I, because I want to make sure, first of all, that the cuticle is pushed back. So with the cuticle, let me put the camera down. Um, you'll see that the sheet I'm working on is my little cheat sheet. I've already measured and I know which nails, which wraps fit which nails, but I have it written down because I have a very bad memory and instead of having to measure each time, I recorded it there. Um, if, it's, if you're just getting to know the size of your nails, you can make this handy little cheat sheet. Just take a piece of scotch tape and fold it over on one end and then put it on your nail and just kind of smooth it down. Take a ballpoint pen and chase a, trace around your cuticle. And when you pull it off, it shows you the size of, if you can see it, of your um, your nail, and then you can line it up on the nail sheet and see which nail fits. Now you want to make sure that the inside of the ballpoint okay. pen um, that the nail fits in it. It's important you have the right size because if it's too big and it touches the skin around your cuticle, it won't stick. Um, same with. Um, Touching, your, touching the adhesive with your finger. Any oil on your finger or in your cuticle is going to um, break down the bond of the adhesive and it won't, you won't get a good seal around the edges and that'll contribute to it lifting. Um, likewise, you wanna make sure that you've prepped your nail really well. So the first thing you're gonna do after you remove any polish or put a fresh coat of polish on, is you're gonna push back your cuticles. I just use an orange stick. You can use a cuticle pusher and I make sure that I get it pushed all the way back. And then um, I've already filed it down so that it's smooth on the edge. I'm give it a light buff and then just a little alcohol prep. I want to do this to make sure that there's no oils because your nails do naturally have oil in it so that there's no oil left on my nail. Now even if I use nail polish remover I want to make sure that I use the alcohol prep because some polish remover has, um, if it says strengthening or conditioning remover, then it has some, some oil and lotion in it and then it won't, um, you've got, you've applied oil to your nail and it's not going to stick as well. Make sure that it's dried off. Let me move my heater over here so you can see it. Okay, now I've already cut my nail wraps because I've done my other thumb. So this is, this is the, uh, the, half, the other half of this thumb and what I, I cut it by just taking my nail scissors and sliding it between the wrap and the plastic backing and just cutting down the middle. Um, and then I'm gonna, and I don't want to touch it with my finger, so I'm gonna use, you can use your orange stick, you can use your cuticle pusher to kind of pull it up on the end and I'm gonna use that to hold it. You can also use your scissors and I'm gonna put it under the heat source. Now if I were using a um, blow dryer I could, or here, I'm gonna count one, two, three. I'll know I put had it under there long enough. It only takes a couple seconds because it'll start to curl. And now it's ready to apply to my nail. I'm trying to find the right spot. Oops, wrong finger. So I want to lay it down. Now I want to make sure when I do this that I am getting as close to the cuticle as I can, but I am not touching the skin around it. And that's a hard angle for me to see at. So I'm going to lay it down. And now, um, it, see how it hangs over the edge? I, if Sometimes I need to reposition it a little bit or turn it. You still can. Um, I just make sure that I grab the very edge that's going to get cut off because that's the excess. 
and just turn it ever so slightly so that it'll line up without touching my cuticle. I'm going to go down the center and out the sides and smooth, smooth it down and apply pressure. I'm going to apply a lot. Of, there's no such thing as too much pressure, I found. And smooth it out. And you can use a cuticle pusher. Now, it's better to go with a smaller size and to have a sliver of your nail showing on the edges than it is for you to um, touch the skin because the skin has produces oil and that's going to break down that bond. And then, okay, so I've got that down pretty good. And now I can cut off the excess. I don't want to cut it all the way to the edge, but it's kind of kind of a lot of extra there. And just to make sure I've got a good seal, I take just a plastic sandwich bag and I wrap it around and twist it tight and then I'm going to heat it again. And I'm doing that, that's applying a little extra even pressure to my nail. And I'm going to hold it under the heat source just for a few seconds until I start to um, really feel the heat on my thumb and then I can pull it off. And that gives that tip a good seal. You'll notice that it's pulled the, the excess wrap down over the edge of the nail and it's given it a really tight seal around the edge. And then I can just give it a little extra pressure this way while it's still warm. And it still has excess hanging over. And then I would go ahead and do the rest of my nails the same way. Now, um, I want to wait until this cools off because the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the excess. And I don't want to do that when it's still warm because then the wrap is still too flexible and it could tear it. Um, so I just, by the time I would do the other nails, this one I could start back at my thumb and it would have cooled off. I'm going to use my um, nail file. I want I I like to use a coarse nail file for the especially for the mat wraps. And then you're just going to file down straight down at a 90 degree angle on the nail tip. Now, if you have extra short nails and it's uncomfortable to file down like this because you're really filing the tip of your nail, I mean the tip of your finger instead of the tip of your nail, you can use um, clippers and just clip um, the ends off, taking a little bit of the edge of your nail with it too so that you're getting a good seal. And when I file straight down, never back and forth because you're going to make it um, jagged edges on your wrap, straight down you'll see that the excess wrap is just peeling right away. My nails are, ex um, I keep them short and so sometimes around the edges I have to kind of pull my skin away to expose the edge of the nail so I can get it good. But there you go, I'm done. And then I would be done with all of them. And just like that, I have a Jamacure. And you can too. Thank you.